We're going to move on, actually. Yes, uh, to the fallout from the FTX collapse. And, you know, of course, that Sam Bankman-Fried was, uh, was arrested this week. Um, and the question now is, the celebrities that he enlisted to help promote FTX, um, where do they fall in the, how much, how much blame should they actually uh, be taking for this collapse and for the people who've lost a lot of money? Uh, this is an issue that has uh, come up on Capitol Hill. We spoke to a couple of congressmen, uh, Al Lawson and Richie Torres. Um, they were out in D.C., out and about, and we asked them what they thought of this. They actually have, and uh, not shockingly, varying opinions. Should some of the um, celebrities take responsibility as well? Well, you know, I think it, you know, it's hard to say now who all uh, should be involved until a certain level that they was involved. And you had professional athletes and so forth investing in it. Uh, they lost money, uh, you know, millions of dollars. And so, you know, I think everyone is uh, probably uh, a little bit to blame. I think they need to be very careful. You know, a lot of them make a lot of money and it doesn't hurt them as much as it hurt the average consumer. Well, for me, the villain here is Sam Bankman Freed who um, lent customer funds without the knowledge and consent of those customers. But I doubt that any of those celebrities knew, like if those celebrities had known that he was a fraud, none of them would have endorsed his product. So those celebrities are victims of his deception, just like everyone else. Uh, oh, but there's a mid congressman. There, sorry, Congressman. Yeah. There is a middle ground there. That if uh, I'm assuming none of them knew it was right. a fraud, but if they didn't properly research and they made money and they put themselves out and said, "Hey, everybody, invest. This is a great thing," and people rely on them, I'm not so sure. Now, on the other hand, what if what if celebrities actually did do some research? You wouldn't necessarily be able to to uh, to decipher that this thing was a house of cards and that it was going to collapse. I think that's a fair point. What you if know? they did nothing? If they did nothing, I think that's, yeah. I mean, you, if you're gonna put your face and your name out there- And entice people. And entice other people and tell them to you invest, should do this. To invest their money. To invest you know, their hard earned money. Yeah, you should probably know what it is you're getting into. Hi, I'm Dr. Mary Bass. I'm coming to you today from South Bend, Indiana. And with this latest cryptocurrency crash, when it comes to the celebrities who have endorsed it, I think that the liability should fall on their personal financial advisors, whether those are accountants, financial planners, that's who should be advising them on what's safe and what's not. Well, that's fair, but uh, it, you know, there's, there's got to be a lawyer. To Joe Schmo, who's watching s some celebrity on TV, is not going to sue the accountant. It's going to sue the celebrity. Right. I have a feeling that's coming. Oh. Yes, those lawsuits are going to be coming. We are going to take a break. All right.